think what really started my journey in Lou Free was when I decided to make a guitar for my younger brother. Um, I made it in complete secret and um, I had to come up with ways to disguise what I was doing in my workshop. I had to make things just to throw him off a little and honestly the, the look on his face when I gave it to him and he had no clue. It was only the fact that his initials were inscribed in the back of the guitar that he knew it was for him and he knew that I made it. That was the best feeling I've, I've ever had and I take that into my building with my customers that it's a real overall experience for the both of us and it really takes away the job work element of building. It's, it's, it's the passion and it's, it's uh, a love for what I do and I, I don't really see it as work, I see it as, you know, it's just me, it's just what I do. I had money to go travelling and obviously Covid happened so that wasn't a thing so I decided to use my savings to really upgrade my, you know, my workshop game and that's helped massively as well because I've, um, I've taken a lot of the stress out of some of the really small parts that can be really detrimental to the whole part of the builds and um, that's helped a lot as well. You know, like high spec tools that make, make a better luthier, but um, my engineering background is, you know, that's a very big thing of, you know, the highest quality of tools and maybe it's just me. I, I've got very uh, expensive taste, but yeah, I, I, I want everything to be enjoyable and uh, just uh, as stress-free free as possible because, you know, that goes into the builds really. If it's stress-free and it's enjoyable, that will reflect in my builds. Um, if I'm pulling my hair out all the time trying to get a guitar finished, that's not really, it's not right. Now I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm building beautiful guitars that I can't really believe they come out the way they do, but it's great. You know, the reason why I decided that this is what I wanted to do was when I stepped into this workshop and even, you know, not many people like Mondays, but I step here on a Monday morning and it just doesn't feel like work to me. Yeah, I take good comfort in that, that if I carry on with what I'm doing, I'll be even better hopefully and I can pass that on to, you know, younger generations and kind of take the stigma out of buying guitars from a factory and, you know, and really, you know, open people's eyes to like people still build these like they used to and if not better now because with technology and it's uh, it's definitely the movement's changing and the community is great. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what what life holds in the next 10 years where I'll be, I'd love to, you know, send guitars abroad to, you know, in different countries and go to events and um, just showcase what I can do. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely a proud thing when I finish them. It's like, it's nothing I've ever experienced before. It's great. It doesn't matter what number I'm on. Each time I do get excited because I'll think of something whilst I'm doing a part of the build. And I think you know, that would be really good for the next guitar. I can't wait to, you know, finish this one and get on to the next one. It's just that sort of, that drive that um, helps me keep going forward. Um, yeah, I'm always thinking of new designs and new new elements to put in. I like to not just use wood as the full build. I like to implement metalwork into. It's almost like a little homage to my previous careers, and um, I quite like that. It's a uh, adds a bit of uh, uniqueness to some of my builds. It's just, uh, um, yeah, it's always what I wanted to do and 
that one finally here, so it's great.